Hi, Steve here from photomasteryclub.com and in this Photoshop tutorial I'm going to show you a few different techniques that you can use to combine to create a real soft dreamy look to your landscape images. So these particular techniques, I mean they work, uh, you know, each one is quite simple in itself, uh, it's just when you sort of combine them together that's what helps to create a real soft sort of glowing image. Now the image that we're going to be working on in this example is what's on the screen at the moment and this was originally three exposures so uh, you know I've bracketed some exposures because it was quite a high contrast scene and I've already got to the point where I've blended those together to create this uh, this image as it is at the moment. Now if you want to see the uh, the rest of my standard workflow um, of which the expo exposure blending was, uh, you know, up, up to that point is the first two parts of the six stage workflow, then there'll be a link just below this video where you can go and download my uh, six stage workflow cheat sheet. Um, otherwise, uh, you know, let's, uh, let's continue on with, uh, with this tutorial. So like I said, we've got to the point where we've created this kind of even flat-ish blended exposure and from here we've got uh, some decisions to make as to which way we want to go. Now with the regular workflow, uh, what we would do is you know, continue on to sort of bring all the nice detail and color out of this image uh, to create like quite a vibrant looking end result. However, if we're going for a soft, dreamy look to our shot, like a real atmospheric uh, look and feel, then we're going to do a couple of things different. And so, Really, there's two things that you want to be doing. Uh, each of the techniques I'm going to show you is doing you know, one of those two things. Uh, and that is to basically darken and to soften the image. So I'll show you what that looks like now. There's quite a long introduction, so apologies for that. Thanks for sticking with me. Um, so the first thing, because this is uh, quite a bright image, we want the image to be a bit darker than this. So, you know, that's what that's part of what helps give this effect. So there's heaps of different ways to darken an image, but for this example I'll just add a curves adjustment layer and we'll just pull the curve downwards to darken. Now what you'll notice here is the uh, shadows are going quite uh, quite sort of close towards, um, you know, quite close to being black. Now there's one particular uh, way of recovering those shadows that I like to use when going for this dreamy effect. Um, you could go ahead and use some luminosity masking to sort of mask this darkening effect out, but this way is, uh, is a lot simpler and it actually helps add to this effect. So what you want to do is just click on this, uh, this little square, this little control point down on the bottom left hand side of the curve or on the bottom left end of the curve click that once and then you'll see it becomes white as opposed to like a uh, an outline of a box and then just on the keyboard you can press the up arrow a couple of times and you notice the uh, that that square is actually moving up so what we're doing there is just moving the black point so that um, so that it's not as uh, yeah not as close to being true black as it originally was. So you'll see here each time I move or each time I press up or down on the uh, keyboard we'll see that number there changes and yeah I think we'll probably leave it on a, about where it is at the moment so 8. You probably don't want to go too much more because it just ends up looking a bit weird um, but I'll leave it on 8 and you'll see the uh, in the histogram there the black point of the histogram is actually uh, a little way away from true black. So yeah, that's good. We wouldn't normally go for that, but for this effect, it actually helps. Um, yeah, it actually helps create that effect too. So that's the first uh, adjustment that we can use just to darken the image there. Now you can either go ahead and then brighten the middle bit up again using another adjustment, or what we can do is just with a black brush just maybe on about 30% opacity we can just sort of mask into the 
or just brush into the layer mask there just to remove this darkening effect from the central area of the image here so where we've got the uh, the sun rays coming through the clouds and then the uh, the light hitting these rocks in the foreground yeah we can just remove some of that darkening there just so that it kind of adds a bit of uh, you know dynamic light and doesn't completely uh, just flatten the image so there it's kind of like a really wide vignette that we've added um, so yeah that's the first uh, the first part of this process now then another thing that we can do uh, I mentioned at the start that you can basically darken and then soften the image so I'll show you one thing that you can do now to uh, to create that softening effect well there are a few actually the first one is uh, to create literally a, a, a layer that is going to blur the image so what we'll do is just select all copy merged paste and then we've got this new layer here layer one and now we will go to Gaussian blur 15 pixels will do us and then basically we've got the first uh, we've got a layer here which looks like the first stage of an autumn effect um, I'll be showing you this in just a second if you're not familiar with that um, but rather than go to overlay or soft light mode um, like how we would if we were doing an autumn effect this time I'm going to go to luminosity and then we're just going to bring the opacity of this layer all the way down to around about 10 between 10 and 20 so I'll probably over exaggerate the effect here just for the purpose of the video let's put it on 25 and if you're watching this in full screen you should be able to see as I activate and deactivate this layer if you look in the foreground especially it's actually softening the details and we're losing a bit of sharpness so this is a bit counterintuitive it's not what we would usually do um, but for this particular purpose it seems to work quite well now again what you can do once you've done that um, you can add a layer mask and just with that black brush again you can just brush this effect out of the really important parts of the shot so this uh, this particular area here in the foreground is a focal point so you know, we still want that to be quite sharp and then up here not so much but you know we can we can remove the effect anyway um, and just so that it's kind of like a you know like a vignette but not really a vignette it's uh, it's instead of darkening the edges it's softening so there we go that's that and then another thing that we can do I mean we could continue on darkening the image um, I don't need to do that really because this is quite dark already but you know that'll be another consideration if you're working on a different shot um, so I'll just show you another technique for adding a bit of softness and uh, a bit of hazy light and that is my sun blur technique and again it's quite a simple one we'll just add a uh, new layer there and I'll hold option or alt on the keyboard and I'm just going to sample a bright color from around the uh, you know, somewhere near to the brightest part of the sky so there we've got like a pale yellow now on a 30% opacity brush I'm going to start off with a really big brush stroke and I'm going to click once and then I'll zoom or I'll, I'll reduce the uh, the brush size and I'll click again and then I'll reduce the brush size again and I'll click once more so you know depending on your taste I mean this uh, this might uh, this might do it for you already um, you know it's uh, it's a creative edit so you know it's up to you really how extreme you want to make this effect um, but for me I'll just tone this back a little bit uh, let's say about 45 percent so there we go that's kind of added this like hazy light effect coming from the Sun uh, into the foreground and yeah you can see the effect of that as I enable and disable this layer so once you've done this there is one other thing um, one other technique that you can combine with what we've done so far and that's the autumn effect so this would be kind of like a bit of a finisher really so you would do this last 
and let's just run through that. So select all, edit, copy, merged, edit, paste, and then filter, blur, Gaussian blur, 15 pixels. And let's go to soft light in the blend mode drop down. Now this is quite extreme. Uh, it's obviously too contrasty at the moment. So we'll just pull the opacity back and let's say around about 30%, I guess. Now this is kind of like a double whammy effect. You know, it adds a bit of darkening in the shadows um, whilst also softening the image generally. So this is uh, something to uh, to just be aware of. Now it's it's tempting to to use this at, at too high of, a, of an opacity. Uh, so just be careful that it's not like over the top and it doesn't scream auto effect because you know that can kind of overpower everything else that you've done up until this point. Um, in this case, what I might do because I like what it's uh, doing in the middle of the shot here, but the shadows are a little bit too dark. So rather than reduce the opacity to around 30%, I'll stay higher at about 50. And then I'll just mask the, uh, the effect out from some of these darkest bits here and then in the foreground and around the sides. So there we go. Let's just compare where we are now to where we started. So here, you know, obviously it's a lot brighter because we've done a lot of darkening. So this is the original. Um, you know, paying attention in the foreground here, it's uh, yeah, it's quite a lot of detail in there. And when I re-enable all of these layers together, that suddenly becomes like a lot softer in the foreground. We haven't over softened, I don't think. You don't want to lose all the detail in your image, um, but it's it's softened the image. We've created some hazy light, and you know we've darkened the image quite significantly, but not to the point where it uh, it you know that it doesn't look any good anymore. <laughs> so um, yeah, hopefully with those uh, those few techniques, you can use them in combination you know, or in any combination that you like. Um, but overall, what you want to be looking to do is darken and soften your image to create this kind of look and feel um, you know perhaps experiment and you know push things a little bit further than you would normally and uh, yeah just one other point with um, you know with using or with trying to create an image that has this kind of effect you kind of have to start off really with an image that is going to lend itself to kind of accepting this appearance so you know something with good light already yeah, maybe uh, yeah, this wouldn't work so well with a clear sky, um, depending on yeah, depending on you know how or well, the time of day. Uh, you know, if it's a dark sky, then maybe it would. But like a bright, clear sky is not going to work so well. Something with a lot of cloud, you know, sunrise or sunset, where you've got a bit of light that you can kind of play around with. So for here, uh, yeah, in this shot, for example, we've got. The, uh, the light rays coming through on the horizon and you know you can kind of play off the fact that it's shining on these uh, foreground mossy rocks you know anything where just there's interesting light going on that's potentially going to be a good candidate for processing an image in this way so I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, yeah you can go and use it on some images and just go and have a play around and let me know how you go in the comments all right thanks very much for watching